All right, what's up guys? So the picture that I posted, or I'm sorry, the painting that I posted last night in Gina's group, i um, going to try to recreate something similar to it to show you exactly how I did it. I was, uh, I was talking to one of my moderators in my group and in Art Addicts, and <laughs> the video was just really drawn out and long, and I figured I could probably recreate some, well, we know how that goes. I'm going to attempt <laughs> to recreate this piece without all of the extra that I did last night. So I did come up with some different colors. Uh, they're all still primary elements. And I also weighed them down a little bit with, with some acrylic paint. Just because the, um, the primary elements are semi-transparent. And I really want them to be like, I wanted to increase the opacity. And the best way to do that is just by adding like a pea sized drop of acrylic paint. So this is the sunburst. Then I have the plumeria, which is this guy right here. You might see a little discoloration. That's just a little bit of water in there. It gives me, uh, it gives me the weight that I need for it to sell. So it's still the same thing though. It's one part of the micas to one one part of the craft Neat gel stain i just got some more stuff in today that's this guy right here okay and anyway so one part mica is to one part of the gel stain and then if it's a dark color it gets uh four parts of the untinted base if it's a lighter color like this guy it gets three to two just depending on you know how light you want something but ultimately the glidden premium untinted base three it does dry with like a smoky haze to it but ultimately it's it's pretty transparent you can see right through it i'm gonna you know put a sheet or put a strip of it on a piece of saran wrap or something one day just so you could actually see what it looks like dry if you don't have any okay so then this is orange peel and i am almost out of this i am so sad i'm trying to like hold on to it for dear life but here i am experimenting with it right so this is bavoom red i absolutely love this color you guys can you see that it's fantastic i put a drop of deep violet from liquitex basics in that one metallic orange from artist loft in here i put a little bit of quinacridone magenta in there no i'm sorry fluorescent pink went in there and then um some neon yellow went in this guy although it really didn't matter so this one here is teal zircon which is this guy and this actually doesn't have anything in here other than some super heavy gel gloss it really didn't need it but you know i'm always modifying and trying stuff but ultimately, this was pretty opaque to begin with. Um, pretty heavy. So, anyway, I think I'm going to go in the order of like a sunset kind of kind of deal. We're going to start off with yellow, then go to orange, then the pink, purple, and then top it off with the with the teal. So that's <laughs> that's the hope. Let's let's hope it works out for us. I'm going to use the color place white. But I'm also going to add some of the untinted base to it because I need that that density because I'm going to do a lot of layering. So yeah, we're going to stop right there. And then I'm just going to grab the untinted base, which is here. I got to fill this up anyway, so I might as well use it. Because the untinted base and the color place white, the color place white is from Walmart. The untinted base you get from Home Depot. And I, I need that, that stringiness, you know, that, that extra thickness that the color place white does not have. So I'm going to pause you while I mix this. Yeah, of course. Here we go. Every time I spill paint, it comes out great. So let's hope that 
it carries on the tradition, right? <laughs> All right, let me pause you guys so I can clean this up. All right, so before we start, I also wanted to show you guys this because I need some help. Um, I cut this out with my scroll saw a year ago, right? It's just a wolf. And I had a circle, but then I, <laughs> I poured over it, did something with it. Anyway, I got this as an ornament, but if you if you look and you and you line it up just right, it looks like a wolf howling at how howling. <laughs> what kind of word is that? Howling at the moon. But I don't know what colors to do my moon. So comment and tell me what you think, because I need some help from my fellow peoples. But yeah, stay tuned for that because I can't wait to do this. Like, should I do something to the wolf too? Should I just do something to the moon? I feel like I should just do something to the moon, but you let me know. All right, enough chat because I can chat all night long, trust and believe. Okay, so I mixed this. It was the untinted base with the color place white. So now it's more stringy. Like, I, I don't know if you could see that. Wait a minute. There we go. That's how I need it to be. I want it to kind of, you know, hold its form. I have my cell activator. We're just using just white, which is the um, Amsterdam titanium white. One part of that to four parts of Floetrol. And then water to consistency. Let's see if I can get it to do it for you guys. I might even need a little more water. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm not... Now it's running. That's what I want. Okay. We're good with that. All right. So here we go. Fingers crossed, right? I got to move my strap out of the way to my phone. It's kind of like hanging out in limbo. There we go. I'm trying not to put too much paint down this time. Oh, so, okay. The ring of blooms. What I did last night was I blew it out. I blew out a bloom on a brown background, which was kind of stupid. I really shouldn't have done it. I should have done it on a white background. I knew better, but I was just kind of, you know, testing my boundaries just to see what would happen. So I'll, I'll actually show it to you real quick. Now it's in the drying process, so it's going to come back. It With primary elements, I just want you to know, when you pour something, they fade out and then you're like, oh no, but then they come back. And then if you resin or varnish it, they come back even more. So don't panic when you see something like this. I promise you it's going to, it's going to deepen, you know, like this guy. I'm just getting ready to resin this guy soon. And you can tell, you can see the colors came right back. Okay. So I don't want you to like, you know, second guess yourself or think it's, think it's a flop when it's really not. Okay. All right, because I love the primary elements. That is like the best thing since sliced bread. Um, no, let's get a little more. I'm really not worried about wasting some of this. I mean, I don't want, I don't like to waste things, but I think by the time I get my act together with this, oh, what are you doing? Come this way like that all right so we're gonna start off with our bloom in the center and we're just gonna pour a little bit down so we're gonna do start off with the yellow and I'm gonna coil it up because I want it to be a you know I want it to float oh my gosh what was that <sighs> okay maybe it was just a bubble man I hope so because I will panic I can't stand chunks, man. They make me, they make me lose my, lose myself. You can, uh, like I said in another video, if you haven't seen it, you can also bang your pigments or your, you know, your paint mix on a table and that also pops bubbles too. Okay. It's 
coil it up. Okay. Slam that down on the table. Huh. It's going to be a pretty contrast, I think. I hope so. Oh. If that happens, don't worry either. That's fine too. Okay. And then the cell activator. Give it one more final stir. I'm just trying to float this on top. I need just one little bit more. All right, I have to pull this away to blow it because I can't get my head under the tripod thing. There we go. Ah! Flung some paint at myself. Okay, there. Bye, bubble. <laughs> wow, look at that, you guys. <sighs> Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at that. That is so beautiful. Let's get a picture. If I, huh? There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, here we go. All the way around. Drag it around. All right. Yep. I'm really done this time. <laughs> but anyway, 
it's the possibilities are endless guys i mean i know this is just like a six and a half inch round but go bigger and yeah looks like a flower on fire <laughs> anyway thanks for watching see you next time bye